What would it look like if Daniel LaRusso faced off against Johnny Lawrence in a one-on-one -on -one game of basketball? Today, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna use a PlayStation video game to help me build a miniature basketball court diorama. Then I'll pose these Karate Kid action figures in the scene and I'll finish things off by taking a photo to create a fun piece of art. Let's go. Before we start this project, I'll give you a quick look at the action figures that we'll be using. On the Cobra Kai side, we've got Johnny Lawrence and John Kreese. And on the Miyagi-Do side, we've got Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi. If you want to learn more about these figures, I've got a video review of them up on my channel. So the first thing I'm going to have to do for this project is build a basketball court. And to do this, I'm going to use my PlayStation 4. I've loaded up NBA Live 18. I know it's an older game, but it'll do just fine for the purposes of this project. I started a quick match, and after the players moved around for a few seconds, I went into the instant replay mode. In here, I was able to take some screenshots of all the different sections of the court. Later on, I'm going to stitch these screenshots together to make a full court. I'll probably need somewhere between 15 and 25 images to capture everything. Now, you can also try doing this with the NBA 2K games, but I personally found it difficult to capture all the images that I needed because the scoreboard kept getting in the way when I was taking screenshots from certain angles. There's probably a way to do it, but I just found it easier to do in NBA Live. Once I had all the shots that I needed, I popped in a USB stick and copied all of the images onto it. Then I transferred those images onto my computer. I was able to stitch everything together using Photoshop and I eventually ended up with this full court image. Now, I wanted to customize this court a little bit. I didn't want to have the Raptors logos on it because we're dealing with characters from the Karate Kid movies. So what I did was I replaced the main logo with the West Valley High School logo, and I also made a few other adjustments to the colors, and I ended up with this. After the editing was done, I printed out pieces of the court onto matte photo paper, which is a little bit more rigid than regular paper. I laid out all the pieces on a table to see how they looked. And when I saw that everything would fit together properly, I glued all the pieces together to create the court. All right, so I've got the court laid out on the table here. And next, I need to build a wall. And for that, I'm gonna use some pieces of foam board that I got from my local dollar store. I'm gonna print out some images of a cinder block wall and then glue it on top of here. This is the image that I'm using. I customized it in Photoshop by adding some red and blue colored lines onto it. Now let's print this out and glue it onto the foam board. I also printed out some banners and glued them onto the wall. All right, this is the finished wall and I'm just gonna set it here on top of the court. And as you can see, I'm just propping it up with some containers that are stacked on top of some chairs. I'll also be using this net. This is something that I bought on eBay a long time ago. I think it was made by McFarland Toys for their basketball figures. And the only thing that's left to make now are some bleachers for the sidelines and I'm gonna be doing that with my 3D printer. I found this 3D model on thingiverse.com it was made by a user named Cresty. I downloaded the file and enlarged the model to 150%, and then I copied everything over to my 3D printer to print it out. So these are all the pieces for the bleacher section. It was really easy to assemble. And after locking everything together, it looked like this. It turned out pretty good, but I want to paint it a different color, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll start by spraying a base coat of primer on them. And then I'll give them a quick paint job with some acrylic paint. I made three sets of bleachers in total, and they'll be placed in the background on the sidelines of the court. And I also placed the All Valley Tournament trophy on a small table on the sidelines as well. This trophy came with the figures. All right, so I'm pretty much done with the backdrop here. 
and I've decided to shoot this shot from a perspective that is behind the backboard and because of that all I need is the rim itself. I'm holding it up here as you can see with some clay and a wooden dowel. I've also got this one six scale basketball. It's a little bit too big for the figures here, but I can shrink it in the final image using Photoshop. I wanted to use some shoes with the characters, so I added these to their feet. Uh, once again, they're a little bit big, but I can shrink them down with Photoshop. I wrapped some wire around the figures to help hold them up. And I've got some clay on the base to add some weight to support it. And I used a small piece of sticky tack to attach the ball to Daniel's hand. Finally, I just needed to place everything together in the scene. And this is the completed setup. I took a photo of the scene with my Panasonic GH3 camera, along with two lenses that were put together. I've got the 14mm pancake lens along with this Panasonic fisheye lens adapter screwed on top of it. This is going to give you a wide angle shot and it will look a little bit like an NBA dunk cam. I did a bit of editing in Photoshop to get rid of the wires underneath the figures. I also fixed a few blemishes and I adjusted the size of the ball and the shoes. And this is the final edited photo. We have Daniel doing his signature crane kick dunk over Johnny with Mr. Miyagi and John Kreese spectating in the background. If you want to get a better look at the image, go to my Instagram page. You can check it out there along with many other scenes that I've shot with different characters. Be sure to check out some of the other videos on my channel. Leave me a comment and let me know what kinds of scenes you want me to make and what kinds of characters you want me to use. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.